Welcome back to the channel. Man, what a great weekend to race in. We're back, awesome time. You may even see a little hint of how the weekend went. I don't know, you're gonna have to stick around and find out. I still see a lot of you lurking on here too that aren't subscribed, so you better go hit subscribe. And let's put a goal on this one, 500 likes. Let's see you do it. show car.
chicken dinner. True street. So yeah, I came home with the win. It was, it was great time of racing, great competition. In the street class, I think there was 21 cars or something. It, it was a good group. Um, so I dual entered like normal. I'll just kind of take you through what I was thinking, you know, race day. It was so busy. We didn't have time to get a lot of footage. We were making a lot of changes on the car. So we were, we were really putting it through. Brennan, Jack, and Frank, they all were helping me out. It, it was a great time. Um, really appreciate all their help and what we did throughout the day. It was a hectic day. But you know, so we get there, get unloaded, get ready to go. First round small tire, I entered small tire, um, mainly to get some data on the car and just, I needed more hits. So I wanted a dual enter, small tire in street. Small tire came up first. I drew, I don't even remember what I drew, but um, he actually ended up breaking after the burnout. So I got lucky, got a competition by, you saw the pass, way too much power in it. Spawn, 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 spawn. Terrible pass. Oh, whew. glad we got that out of the way. First round of street class came up and I drew what I thought was probably the, the toughest competition for off the trailer there. All wheel drive diesel truck. That dude can get down a gravel road. So I'm like, man, I'm, I was a little worried about it. There's no lie about that. But man, I didn't make a good first pass. I got pull out a ton of power and hope for the best. Turns out I didn't pull out enough power. Still spinning, still all over the track. Um, I lucked out and squeaked by with a win. That was probably the toughest race of the day. It was just first round off the trailer. So I, I'm happy where I ended up on the tune-up and the suspension and we made it work. So then we get to round two of small tire um, and like I had no time in between rounds. I think we made passes within 10 minutes of each other. So whoever's like, oh, not a street car, like no pit cooler for my transmission, nothing like 10 minutes, like barely enough time to drive around to the pits, go through the logs, change the tune up and get back up there. Didn't put coolers on it, no battery charger, like it was fast. ICT billet truck, um, Cody Hoffman was driving it, great group of guys. I didn't think I had enough to beat them. Um, they no prep all the time in that truck. Uh, they're really good competitors. So I kind of swung for the fence. I put a good tune up in it and I was gonna be quick on the light. A little too quick, I jumped, no lie, no big deal, it happens. Um, I wish I wouldn't have jumped, because if we would have left at the same time, I think it would have been a really good race. You saw that picture, man, if I wouldn't have jumped, it would have been a good, good, good race. Uh, and they went on to the finals of Small Tire. So who knows, I'm not saying I could have been there, but maybe I could have gone far in Small Tires on a radial. I don't know, I don't know, anyways. On to it, round two of the street class, I drew a Mustang. I didn't really know much about the combo. We're still making drastic changes to the car, suspension and weight and front suspension and tune up, obviously. And yeah, we heard the call once for True Street and we we're still making changes. Like, oh, we got a little bit of time and I didn't hear anything else. We finished up our changes and like, you kind of need to get up there. I haven't heard anything in a while. You see where we're at, get up there. I see him pulling into the water box. I'm like, oh my goodness. Like I almost missed the race. They almost DQ'd me. Um, I was super late, so got strapped in real quick, got up there, and luckily we made a pretty decent hit and came away with a win. That, that one, it was hectic. So then I'm out of the small tire class, so we have a little more time in between rounds. We, you know, we take the front end off the car, we're going through, making changes, doing changes in the back, tune-up changes, and we're going to round three. We drew a Nova. Um, I didn't know much about that combo either. Just, you know, we're trying to be consistent and doing what we're doing. We're worried about burnouts and tire temp and staging procedure, and we're just trying to do our thing. Um, and sure enough, make another good hit. We're getting better. We're pulling tons of power out of the car, and I'm feeling better and better. That was one of our faster passes of the day. Um, so then, you know, I'm going on to the semifinals in the street class, like doing great, feeling good. Semifinals of the street, like we we drew the bye, we got lucky. Um, there was only three of us. One of the guys has already drawn the bye, so I had a 50-50 shot. I lucked out, I drew the bye. So we swung out into left field on this one. We made huge drastic changes. Didn't know if they'd work, but it's like, hey, we get a free pass. Let's just try some crazy stuff. And we tried it, and you, you saw my bye run, like it actually looked like a really good pass. It didn't feel as stable. Um, I don't think the chassis really liked the changes we made. So we actually ended up scrapping those and we kind of went back to where we were for our round three tune-up. We felt that was a good tune-up. And yeah, finals, Orange Camaro, um, make the finals run. It was just a good clean run. We're in a routine now. Everything's going good. We're feeling good. Got a good tune-up in it. And um, the track just started going away. The track was never good. Let's just get that out of the way. It was sketchy. Super bad. They moved us off of the concrete onto the asphalt for the start. It was so, so bad. But 
um, it had gotten colder, so I think the track lost what little heat it had. And the track was going away, so I actually didn't make as quick of a pass as I had earlier in the night in the finals. Just is what it is. Unfortunately, they spawned or had some problems with the car. I wish we would have had a good race. I mean, they were in the finals. They had made four good passes before to beat four other competitors to get the finals. But it is what it is. Um, you know, we were consistent, and I felt like we had the car to beat in street all day. Um, we were making good passes, flying on radials on no prep. Like it, I felt it was good. Like, we were doing really good. So the data was invaluable. That's really what that weekend was about. The Amarillo Flashlight Race is in a few weeks, and that's my main focus. So I wanted to go get the car set up for sketchy tracks and just go get data and I got tons of good data so now I feel like I'll be able to apply that in Amarillo and I feel like I got a real good contender in Amarillo and I got titles to defend I didn't get to race the last one because my car was down but I won four classes in prior events like I feel this is my race I'm defending my title so I'm going to be testing even more I think I'm going to try Amarillo I think there's another no prep I'm going to hit so yeah, just kind of follow along. We got a lot of stuff coming, more racing, wiring series on the Camaro, making some good progress on that. So you saw that playlist, stay tuned for that. Dave's car is getting close. Um, so you gotta go check out his channel for that progress. And yeah, just kind of hang out, follow along. We, we got a lot of good stuff coming.